August 1947, when finally after 300 years, British left India, the subcontinent was partitioned into two independent nations. And immediately after this partition, the communities that had coexisted in this subcontinent for almost a millennium started attacking each other in terrifying outbreaks. A mutual genocide which was as unexpected as it was unprecedented. Trying to figure out how to stop these communal riots, Babu went to Calcutta. He refused to participate in any meetings, celebrations and sessions when the whole nation was rejoicing the newly found independence. Many generations that saw independence dawn before their own eyes and many such wonderful seniors are around us to tell how the day unfolded and to express their heavy hearts. Because with the sweetness of freedom came the trauma of partition. We have with us Mr. Khanshyam Das Agarwal, who was just 15 when he experienced such odd circumstances. Let us hear what he wants to express. Friend of India and I was a senior old. So about one year before the partition, riots starting, the riot was starting by the Muslim League. Force and made to gather prepared for the partition. Riots were going on twelve years and uh, there were at the time of partition, there were riots between the Hindus and killing the Muslim. In the Hindu majority area, most of the killing is in the majority And the relationship between Hindus and Muslims is very sound. And both political government of Britain and Congress party representing the Hindu agrees to partition. At the time of partition, the financial promotion of the country was very bad. The the relationship between the two and the two was very bad. There were 700 nation states which would be independent at the time of independence, which would be independent at the time of the besides the Jan Pakistan. But even then, everyone agreed to the partition. The partition. And during partition, I had to point out the most of the killing and the most of the killing. So I would be On the 14th of August, the day and day of the suddenly things changed. Muslims and Hindus became friends. Muslims started visiting Hindu areas, Muslims started At 9 o'clock in the evening, in the evening, we left for our work because of the start of the day. Such a crowd there. And we walked the areas, the Muslims were coming to the stations, they were preaching to servers and all these things. The Muslims were preaching by Hindus, and Hindus were preaching by Muslims. And there was a condition. All this happened because not all Gandhi had gone into isolation and was not given by any situation because he was not back with the partition. And he was in Calcutta, he was not in Delhi. Stayed in some village over here and was only joining prayers. Somehow, people were saying they joined the prayers, going to the church, people were requesting him to join the celebration, but he didn't. Suddenly, around 12 o'clock, Muslims started coming to his area and people started doing the celebration, which we all felt was satisfied. Special personal experience on the day of independence, on the day of partition. But it's so much before that. I was arrested because a Muslim had been killed in our area, stabbed in our area. The 
to release a death tag at specific instructions from the Chief Minister who was a Muslim to arrest any to arrest at least 20 minutes for a Muslim being a Muslim and it came at night I was available to be in the front of it just to be away from the lorry and I got the play that she took from the lorry and I was there I had not been free from the lorry What would have been the side when India achieved its independence? Present generation will never be able to understand the emotional attachment of that day. People of those days will know the magical environment of happiness and patriotism. Today we have Mr. R. A. Tripathi, retired Lieutenant, Indian Navy, who will share his views on how a 15-year-old teenager saw the independence and the patriotic feeling. that each and every citizen of the country had in their heart that we can't expect to feel today vaagidari bahut kam dikhti hai main us swatantrata sangram aur swatantrata divas ki baat karunga jo 1947 पंद्रह अगस्त को मनाया गया था उस समय मैं लगभग चौदह पंद्रह वर्ष का था मैंने देखा कि शहर से लेकर गांव तक आजादी की एक अलग से धूम सी है लोग बूढ़े बच्चे जवान हर तबके के लोग आजादी के रंग में डूबे हुए हैं क्या मस्ती थी लोग आजादी के तराने गा रहे हैं कहीं ढोल तासे बज रहे हैं कहीं भारत माता की जय इनकलाब जिंदाबाद के नारे लग रहे हैं वो देख करके दिल में जो खुशी जो उमंग पैदा होती थी वो आजकल देखने को नहीं मिलती मैं विशेष तौर से कानपुर नयागंज चौराहे और सराफे का जिक्र करूंगा जिसमें मैं भी एक पार्टिसिपेंट था वहां पर सड़क के दोनों किनारे बंदनवार से सजाए गए थे चांदी की ईटे जोड़ करके स्वागत द्वार बना स्वागत द्वार बनाया गया था जिसमें अमर शहीदों जैसे चंद्रशेखर आजाद भगत सिंह राजगुरु सुखदेव आदि के चित्र लगे हुए थे और भी कई गणमान नेताओं के चित्र उसमें थे जैसे महात्मा गांधी सुभाष चंद्र बोस और जवाहरलाल नेहरू लोग उनको नमन करते और जिंदाबाद के नारे लगाते स्वागत द्वार के दोनों ओर स्वागत करने वाले लोग खड़े थे एक तरफ वो निकलने वालों को फूलों का हार समर्पित करते दूसरी तरफ मिठाइया बांटने वाले लोग खड़े थे क्या आनंद था क्या उल्लास था ऐसा वातावरण लगता है फिर कभी देखने को नहीं मिलेगा धन्यवाद जय वेरी स्पेशल थैंक्स टू मिस्टर घन शानदार अग्रवाल Mr. Arit Tripathi for sharing their worthwhile experiences and helping us bringing forth a program filled with heartfelt events and uncharted beauty of India. We are highly obliged that you gave a presence in our video and shared your unforgettable events. Thank you so much. Freedom fighter Raghuveer Narayan, a resident of village Dehiyawa, wrote a beautiful song of Batuhiya. भारत के दिशवा इन 1911. Besides, 
being a patriot, he was an English writer as well. But on the insistence of our first president, Dr. Rajendra Prashad, he agreed to pen down the song in Bhojpuri. In the lyrics of this beautiful song, India is glorified as the heaven of the earth. Moreover, this song is seen as the national anthem of the Eastern India. This song holds a great significance for all the Bhojpuri speakers and is similar to Vande Matram for them, as quoted by a father of nation, Mahatma Gandhi, categorizing it along with Vande Matram. It was the first time that a Bhojpuri song was sung by a choir of singers belonging to seven different countries. So now, let's purify our hearts and listen to this beautiful and soulful सुंदर सुभूमि भैया भारत के देश वासे मुरे प्राण बसे हिम खो हरे बटोहिया मोरे प्राण बसे हिम खो हरे बटोहिया सुंदर सुभूमि भैया भारत के देश
Yeah.